Okay, today we're going to talk about major scales. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here um, we're going to concentrate on the G major scale for now. And as you can see, I'm using a six string bass. But of course, if you have a five string bass, then um, you'll be using the, the B, E, A, D, G strings. If you have a four string bass, then you'll just be using the E, A, D, G, which on my bass, E, A, D, G would be the four strings in the middle. And my two out, my outside strings, my top B, which is my low, um, low B, and my, my high string would be my high C. The G major scale, which would be I'm going to put my second finger on, this is my E string, third fret. Okay, that's going to be G. Then my pinky, we're going to put on the fifth fret, the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. That's my pinky. So, so far we have Do, Re, Mi. Okay, because it's really the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do scale, right? The major scale. So we get G, A, B. Now, B is the second fret on the A string. Okay, so I'm going to use my first finger for that. So, so far we have Second finger, fourth finger, first finger. Okay, do re mi fa. Now we have your second finger again. Okay, so G A B C. That's the third fret on the A string. So far, do re mi fa so. Now on the pinky again, which is the fifth fret on the A string, that's my D. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is E. E was E, not the open E. This is E, which is the the D string. The D string second fret. Then F sharp, which is the fourth fret on the D string. And then finally, G, which is um, an octave higher than where we started. So we get to G on the pinky, which is the fifth fret on the D string. So put it all together. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. Go backwards. Do, ti, la, so, va, mi, re, do. Okay, I'll do it again. I'm going to go slower. Okay, here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now, I know what you're thinking. If this is your first time, you're thinking, I mean, how can I switch from string to string? It's going to seem a little clumsy at first, right? Um, and you even may get mixed up even here on your right hand, knowing which, which string to strike, okay? Trust me, the more you do it, um, you're going to strike it with accuracy. Okay, now, if you have a metronome handy or some kind of a beat machine, uh, let's set it to about 60. That's going to be, 60 would be about one beat for every second. So it would be 60 BPM, so 60 beats per minute. One, two, uh-oh, 
on s'est messed up. See? <laughs> That last note again to go backwards. Now let's do it again, and we're not gonna break stride. I'm gonna put that metronome on 60. I'm just guessing this is feels about 60. Uh, that's about 60 right there. Like that's one snap for every second. Here we go. Da, da, uh, do it again. Go. Da, 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 da. And backwards. Strike it again. The last note before you go back down. Now if that's too fast, slow the metronome down. Maybe to 50. Da, a little bit slower now. Scales are the foundation of music for any instrument. I know you're like, oh, boring. Scales are boring, but you got to know your scales. Okay, very good. Okay, now I'm going to give you an exercise to play. Um, I want you to number the scale one through eight like this. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. So, in other words, you're gonna play the first note is gonna let's call that the first note of the scale or the first degree. One, this is the second degree. Now, don't confuse that with this with the finger number. I'm not talking about what number finger I'm using or what fret I'm on or what string I'm on, those are different numbers. Now, I'm talking about how many notes I, I'm actually playing. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But each number, each note has a, has a certain number. So this is one. This is two. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So if I say let's play seven, you play this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that? If I say play three, one, two, three. Okay. We're talking about scale degrees now or scale numbers, not finger numbers, not fret numbers. Which note in the scale you're playing? Okay. How about this one? If I say play number one, well, that's one. <laughs> G. Okay. So here we go. Uh, let's play one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Now, two, three, four, two. Two, three, four, two. Now, let's play three, four, five, three. Three. Now, four, five, six, four. Four, five, six, four. Now, five, six, seven, five. Five, six, seven, five. Now, six, seven, eight, six. Six, seven, Seven, eight, nine, seven. I know you're thinking like, man, where's nine? Nine is outside of the, outside of the scale, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is nine. It's gonna be the second fret on your G string. That's gonna be a A. Okay, so we get seven, eight, nine, seven. Then finally, eight. Like this. One, two, three, one. Keep going. Two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Eight, six, seven, eight, nine, seven.
way too fast. Um, we're going to go really slow, like one, two, three, one. Yeah, go all the way up. Go as slow as you like, as long as you do it to a beat. Okay? Uh, here's how it sounds fast, by the way. Let's go backwards slowly. Eight, seven, six, eight, seven, six, five, seven, six, five, four, six. seven ah this is a f sharp which is the second fret on the e string that's the low seven so two one low seven two and then one okay so uh medium pace would be one two ready begin That's going to be your homework. It's going to be in the key of G. Um, we're going to play this exercise. You're going to practice your major skill. And backwards. Then do it again twice, right? We're going to do it again. We're going to go ascending. And then we're going to play it descending. Exercise. It's going to be too fast in the beginning, I know, but do it at your own your own pace. Now, why are we learning that? Because from those notes, that's where all of your songs are gonna come from one of these seven notes plus the last one makes eight, just the octave. All 
your songs. Uh, all your songs come from the scale tones. Okay. So have fun, and thanks for watching.